NVIDIA's Jensen Huang is lobbying the White House to sell chips to China again. But because companies like More Threads are on the verge of breaking the GPU monopoly. Backed by billions in state and private funding, these NVIDIA clones are building everything from gaming cards to AI supercomputers. We dive deep into their tech, test their performance in the latest AI models and games, and analyze how the US tech embargo might be creating the very competitor it sought to prevent. Is this the end of NVIDIA's dominance in China? This is a story about a technological rebellion. In the summer of 2025, NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang was reportedly making a desperate plea to the White House. Let us sell our AI chips to China at AT the exact same time. A company you've probably never heard of, More Threads, filed to go public in Shanghai, aiming to raise over a billion dollars. Their goal? To become the NVIDIA of China. This isn't just about one company. This is about a multi-billion dollar effort, a technological cold war, and a question that could define the future of AI. Did the United States accidentally create its own worst nightmare? Before we get to the global power plays, let's start with something every PC builder understands, the graphics card. For years, if you wanted to play the latest games, your choice was simple, green team or red team, Nvidia or AMD. But now, there's a new color on the block. This is the More Threads MTT S80. Launched as the first domestic gaming graphics card, it promised something revolutionary, support for Microsoft's DirectX 12. On paper, its single precision floating point performance, a key metric for gaming, was said to be close to Nvidia's popular RTX 3060 or 3070. And for a first attempt, it's surprisingly capable. It can run many modern titles, but let's be clear, this is not an RTX killer. Reviews show that while it has the raw power, driver optimization and compatibility still lack. A card launched in 2023 performing like a 2021 mid-range model shows the technology gap these companies are fighting to close. But focusing on just gaming misses the point. The real prize isn't your Steam library, it's the infrastructure that will power the world's artificial intelligence. More Threads and its domestic rivals are building what they call full-function GPUs. Unlike a simple gaming card, their chips are designed from the ground up to do it all. At the heart of More Threads' strategy is their Musa architecture. It's a unified framework designed to handle AI training, 3D rendering, scientific computing, and video processing, all on a single chip. It's a direct answer to NVIDIA's greatest weapon, CUDA, the software ecosystem that has locked developers into NVIDIA's hardware for over a decade. To break that lock, More Threads has created tools like Musify, which helps developers migrate their AI models from CUDA with minimal effort. But does it actually work? Well, a recent test of their data center GPU, the MTTS 4000, gives us a fascinating glimpse. Running on a cloud rental platform called AutoDL, the S4000, with its massive 48GB of VRAM, was put to the test. Running the popular Stable Diffusion XL model, it generated a high-resolution image in just 8 seconds, a speed approaching mainstream competitors. It successfully ran voice cloning models, and even 3D generation models, tasks that just a year ago were unthinkable on domestic Chinese hardware. This isn't just a lab experiment. More Threads is deploying these chips at scale. They call it the KUE Intelligent Computing Cluster, a platform designed for training massive, trillion-parameter AI models on thousands, or even tens of thousands, of their GPUs working in unison. Reports even claim a thousand-card cluster of their latest chips has achieved efficiency greater than a comparable foreign system. They are building the entire stack, from the silicon to the software, to create a self-reliant AI powerhouse. And they are not alone. More Threads is just one of the GPU4 Dragons, a quartet of startups, often led by veterans from NVIDIA and AMD, all racing towards the same goal. There's Biren Technology, Mushi Technology, and Iliavator Core X, all targeting the high-performance data center market. And then there's the 800-pound gorilla, Huawei, it's a send line of AI accelerators, while historically based on a different design, is now reportedly pivoting towards a more universal GPGPU architecture, putting it in direct competition with NVIDIA. This frantic pace of innovation is fueled by two things. 
immense funding and a powerful motivation. Since its founding in 2020, More Threads has raised over $600 million from investors, including state-backed funds and tech giants like Tencent and ByteDance. But the real catalyst was the U.S. export ban. In 2023, the U.S. government placed More Threads and many of its peers on an entity list, restricting their access to American technology and advanced manufacturing. The goal was to kneecap China's AI ambitions. But it may have had the opposite effect. The sanctions effectively created a protected market, guaranteeing these domestic startups a customer base. Chinese tech firms, from cloud providers to AI labs, now have a powerful incentive to buy domestic, fueling a cycle of investment and improvement. Look at the numbers. From 2022 to 2024, more Thread's revenue grew at a staggering compound rate of over 200%. Yes, they are still losing billions, pouring money into R&D at a ferocious rate. Their R&D spending over the last three years was more than six times their total revenue. And this is what's called strategic loss, burning cash to build a technological moat that could one day control a trillion dollar market. This brings us back to Jensen Huang. Nvidia doesn't want to lose China, which has historically been one of its largest markets. If American companies are barred from selling, it doesn't mean the demand disappears. It just means customers are forced to turn to domestic alternatives. By blocking sales of today's chips, Washington may be ensuring that these Chinese competitors have the time, the money, and the market access to build the chips of tomorrow. Once their ecosystem is mature and their performance is good enough, China may never go back to buying American again. The race for AI supremacy is often framed as a zero-sum game, a battle between nations where there can only be one winner. But technology rarely works that way. The rise of China's GPU industry, accelerated by geopolitical conflict, shows that innovation can flourish under pressure. A world with more competition with multiple viable hardware and software ecosystems could ultimately be a better world for everyone. It could lead to lower prices, faster innovation, and more choices for developers and consumers alike. The attempt to build a wall around technology may not stop the other side from building its own ladder. It might just ensure that when they climb over, they no longer need what's on the other side. The story of more threads and its rivals is a potent reminder that in the world of technology, no empire is forever.